Hi guys, it's Kay. I'm here with day six of my end of the year vlog 2020. And um, today I'm gonna just tell y'all a story. Um, a couple of years ago, I was on a bus and I'm sitting on a bus and um, I just noticed this little boy. He looks over at this um, man and then, like, the man gave the little boy, <clears throat> like, this stank face, like, you know, like, a what you looking at face. And the little boy, like, quickly turns his head around. And, like, he would not turn back around at all. So, and I felt, I'm like, that was, like, weird. That was strange. But then, I meant not weird, strange, because I, I wasn't sure what, did they know each other or whatever. But then I, I noticed that they must know each other, and um, so I'm looking, and I'm, and it just gave me like abuse notion feeling, uh, uh, something. So now, like my heart, you know, is feeling compassion toward like that little boy, and I noticed that them, the lady that the little boy was sitting next to must be his mother, and she had a baby on her lap. You know, she never looked up. And the little boy, on the whole ride, he just would not turn his head. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like, he felt that uncomfortable that you can tell he was doing his best not to turn his head back around and look at that man. So then the bus riding and riding. And then the man gets up. And he rang the bell. And he bent down and he kissed the lady on her cheek. And he then he, he gets off the bus. And when he get off, got off the bus, the lady tears just start rolling down her eyes. And I, I felt like crying because it's like I felt it. I felt like her. I felt like I felt her pain or I felt that little boy's um, his his fear. I, it, I felt all of that. And I felt like crying. Like two stops later, she gets off. Her and the kids get off the bus. So then when I got home, I prayed. You know, I prayed for her. I prayed for the kids and stuff. And just asked God, like, to protect her, to help her and stuff like that. And then, like, I felt better after I, like, prayed and let it all out to God. I wrote about her in one of my prayer journals. And, and then that was that. And uh, that following summer, I seen her on a bus with the kids. And I don't know if things were better or whatever, but I was glad God gave me the chance to see her again and see her with a smile on her face and it looked like she was going to work and like maybe she was taking the kids to daycare because the little boy had like a little bag on his back. But I was just like glad God gave me the opportunity to to see her like that. But to, today she just came to my mind. I thought about her. And I continued to pray for her and her children, her family. You know, I pray that God is, you know, continue to protect her, bless her. Um take care of her, comfort her, strengthen her, save her, you know, forgive her and her children. And I also pray for that man also. I pray those same things for him. And I just pray that whatever he's dealing with that, you know, he's he he he's free from. But it I thought about them today and I you know, just sending out Another prayer. This is years later, so. But she came to my mind today, and you know, that was something for me to even feel that, like you know, like have you ever like just don't know somebody, but you just felt the uncomfortness or felt that something wasn't right. It's a shame. It's a shame. And then make you think about, like, you know, this time of the year is already 
you know, suicide season, not say season because people do it all year, but rates are high this time of the year. And now, like this year with COVID period, they say how like those rates had went up, suicide rates, um, abuse rates, depression rates, all that went up because, you know, people being stuck in a house and being deprived of things and not being able to get away from certain people and certain atmospheres and certain things, you know. You know, I pray for all those people out there. You know, they got to go through that, especially the children, especially the children, especially the children. I, you know, I pray that, you know, that um, the people that's out there, you know, dealing with this type of stuff, that I pray that they um, get the help that they need, get the safety that they need, and um, find a way out that they need. But that's, that's all I wanted to say for the day. I thought about her. I'm praying for her. I'm going to continue to pray for her and her family. And pray for him also, whoever he is. And just, you know, if you see or feel that a situation is not right, even if, if you feel like you can't, don't get involved. A lot of people don't like getting involved because of, you know, you may get hurt or some people say can't get involved because the woman going to stay with them or whatever your main reason is, but you can always pray. You can always pray. For the whole situation. So just keep those those type of situation, those type of people in your prayers. But that was um my spill for day six of my end of the year blog 2020. Have a good night and I see y'all tomorrow.